Hello guys, this is the beginning part of um, the good ending for Trace Memory. Uh, I'm going, I, I have to redo the entire game apparently, so I'm just going through it actually following the walkthrough which I used a couple of times, but this one I'm just going like straight through whatever the walkthrough says, and the walkthrough mentions making this sign. So I've decided to put all of the requirements or the extra little bits I didn't do into one video or maybe this will be an entirely separate video of things that I just didn't do so yeah what did the sign say it's very obvious what it says at the bottom of the fold but it, there are pieces what did the sign say okay so yeah we're just gonna this apparently helps you with by the way uh, this is obviously not how I did the gate puzzle. I did it using the stuff. I did it using the symbol on um, the the machine in the back. But yeah, I fixed the sign. I didn't even get any splinters. Let me take a look at it. The Edwards Mansion. The Edwards Mansion. Well, that looks like a mansion on the left over there. But what does that symbol on the right of the sign mean? All right. So that's it. As I said, uh, this might just make it into a video of things that I didn't, you know, that were optional things that didn't even involve D, or this might just be involved with the D video if it was, you know, really quick and like the only thing. So yeah, I'll be back when I find anything else. Hello guys. According to the walkthrough, here is another thing that I missed, and I did examine the coat, but I guess I missed something off of it. Uh, it says on the walkthrough, first examine the lab coat on the floor. There's something sticking out of the pocket. The little triangle to the right. Oh, I did miss it. I just thought that that was a part of it. This is a photo of a woman with a baby. This is, oh, it's all coming back to me. The dreams I have of that night. I hear a voice saying, Ashley, quick, hide. Yeah, that voice was mom's. That woman in the photo is mom. I got the photo of my mom. Okay, so um, that is it as of now, and I'll be back in just a little bit with something else. Oh, right, so the next part is something I totally just forgot about. Where I looked before this, I looked at the butter, which I did do in mine, and then uh, I grabbed the hammer, but I didn't properly use it. In fact, I don't think I used it at all. So here I am re grabbing the hammer, and then I believe. Wait, uh, which one? No, it's this one. We're gonna go in Henry and Mary's room. And then we're gonna break open the bottle because the rest of uh, the rest of it is just going to be there's something in the bottle. Oh, I forgot to do this. Sorry. I'm going to try to open it. Grr. Can't open it. Okay, so there you go. But um, let me see. First, go to the bottle. Use the hammer. Then tap it a few times with your stylus. You'll get a key and a note. Now head over to where the music box is to so the upper right. Use the Okay, so, yeah, this is just an optional thing that I completely forgot to do, so, if I can't open it with my hands, it's a good thing I have this hammer. Alright, so then we just dab it. I crushed the bottle. Fun. There's a letter and a key inside. I got the gold bird key. Let's see what the letter says. Dear Henry, this is my last letter to you. Ever since your grandfather passed away and your brother killed himself from grief, you've turned into a different person. I can't even imagine how different this time has been for you. But I cannot live and raise our daughter in this environment. I cannot live with your constant drinking and violent outburst. Do you even remember swinging that knife around me and Franny? You looked like you thought everything was out to get you. 
Did you know that after I hit all the knives in the house so you wouldn't hurt us or yourself? I don't know you anymore, Henry. I'm leaving the island with Franny. I'll never forget you, the love of the love uh, and the love we once shared. Mary. Do you know who Mary is? Franny's mother. The letter says that Thomas killed himself, Dee. No, that's not true. Father was murdered. I'm sorry, Dee. Alright, so that's the optional part I forgot. I will obviously add in the next part where um where we use the key or whatever. So uh yeah, I'll be back. Alright. I'm just gonna do this one just because uh the walkthrough I'm reading says that this is uh that she reacts to this and I don't think that I've ever done this. So apparently Jessica reacts to Candy and Saiko's photo. I'll give Jessica some candy. Oh my god, I forgot the sound again. Do you want some candy? Thanks, I'll eat it later. And photo of mom. I took out mom's picture. Look at this picture. It's your mother Saiko. That's it, I guess. I thought it was going to be longer and she was going to actually give us like two sentences, but I guess not. So just a little fun thing that I just didn't do because I was fully unaware of it. All right, on to the next part. Okay, I'm back because I'm thinking that uh, one of these drawers has to be opened with that key that we got. See? Didn't I didn't do this in my actual one. There's something in the draw in the drawer. It's an old notebook. The cover of the notebook has Lawrence Edwards name on it. May 1948. I believe my time has finally come. I must write down my thoughts while I can still hold a pen. Foremost on my mind today is that sunny day 32 years ago. That was the day I first held Henry and Thomas in my arms. It's hard to believe that these two men were once so small. That was also the day I received a letter of re uh, reconciliation from a estranged son, Leonard. But the letter came too late. I had learned of Leonard's death earlier, and regrets haunt me. haunted me. The boys were another chance for me to make peace with Leonard. I'll never forget their innocent smiles. They lightened my heart. That day I decided to raise them on my own. I loved them more than anything and wished them happiness. Giving them happy lives becomes became my own life's purpose. They were birds of happiness. They made my heart free. And as I hoped, they grew up happy and healthy. Like their father, they both chose artistic paths. But I didn't make the same mistake that I made with their father. I set them free to chase their dreams. Henry left to become an artist and Thomas a writer. I hope for their happiness even though I meant I would I would be alone. But just when dreams were coming true, my hopes were shattered by outside forces. The Second World War started and both boys went to fight. The military confiscated them the the gold I was saving for them. All the gold I was saving for them. My birds were meant to create beauty, not destroy life. I felt powerless, all I could do was hope for the war's quick ending, and the safe return of my beloved Henry and Thomas. It was almost so. Hold on a second. When the war finally ended, they returned to me. But my birds were hurt, and they had lost their wings. Henry lost his right arm, his painting arm. And Thomas, he lost part of his heart. He couldn't trust anyone. Just like when I first held them when they were small. I held both of them in my old arms and sobbed, wishing for a quick recovery for their hearts and their bodies. But now, I wonder if I acted correctly. My heart is filled with regrets and sorrows like Henry, like when Henry died. But this time, I don't have those innocent smiles to illuminate the darkness. This must be Lawrence's diary. Great Grandpa. Alright, so that was one of the secrets I forgot to do, so on to the next. Okay, 
Here's another little Easter egg like with Jessica, according to uh, the walkthrough. Um, okay, here it is. Show him, it says, show him the candy. I'll give him some candy. Here you go. Thank you. Would you like some chocolate? I got a chocolate. That's it. It's just something short that was an easter egg that I didn't know about. So, on to if I missed any more. If not, because I'm really not sure, I feel like there might not be. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Alright guys, so this is the last of the goodies. I decided that I was going to read off all of the DTS cards, just in case. Alright. Dearest Ashley, I'm sorry for not picking you up. Okay, so we already know this one from the story. Okay, Alright, you know what? I'll actually go ahead and read it, so. Dearest Ashley, I'm sorry for not picking you up, but I finally completed Trace. Sayako and my efforts have finally paid off. I'll be waiting for you in the mansion past the gate. Ashley, I know you came to to this room in search of me. I'm so happy, Ashley. I can't wait to see you. I'll tell you all about Trace and your mother when we meet. I will be waiting for you in a room deep inside the mansion. Dear Ashley, thank you for coming here to find me. I'm actually waiting for you at the lab in the back of the house. Sorry for the wild goose chase. I can't wait to see you. Richard's Journal. I'm stuck on, I'm stuck on a problem in my work. I find the best way to work through it is just to leave it for a little while. I do this by picking up a book and and heading down to the porter's lodge. The fresh air gives me a chance to clear my head. At the lodge, I like to sit on, sit on the wooden chair by the window with Sayako's photo close by. Sitting there, my heart carefree, I always think of the afternoons I'd spend with Sayako in the sunny living room of our Seattle house. By the time I'm done reading, I'm filled with a warmth that seems to burn off the haze in my mind. The Porter's Lodge is the best spot for reading. Richard's Journal. My solitude has made me aware of every little change in me. Inexplic inexplicably, I've developed the habit of humming to myself while I walk through the ma around the mansion. Me? Humming? I'm always having a hard time believing it. The song is always the same. If it's playing in the cafe where I met Sayako for the first time. Whenever I realize I'm humming, Humming that song, I remember that day. All it took was one look from her, and my world stopped moving. Everything else seemed to vanish, leaving just Saiko and me. When I remember that day, for a moment, my loneliness, my loneliness evaporates. Evaporates. E -b 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 whatever. By the way, I just want to say, on the walkthrough that I would, the IGN walkthrough, it says you have to get all of these to have a perfect ending. I just did the quote-unquote perfect ending, the good ending, where you get, uh, Dee's memories, and, um, I, did, I didn't have the last two in the research lab, so no, you do not have to have them to have a, the good ending. Richard Journal. Lately, I've been wandering in the mansion for a change of pace. I'd like to find the most comfortable sofa or the best bed to nap in, or the room with the most interesting style. I start each day with my work goal for the day in mind, but I often get distracted from my research and start to think about all the people who used to live in this mansion. More often than not, I think about the girl named Franny. I suppose it's because she reminds me of my, de my dear Ashley. It makes me miss her even more. I wonder if Ashley remembers me at all. It's been so long. Note to self, must take care of rat situation in Porter's Lodge. Richard's Journal. Today I'm thinking of Japan, that collection of islands in the sea that was Sayako's first home. I hope to visit there someday with Ashley. We'll go see Sayako's parents in their quiet mountain village and ask them to tell us stories about Sayako's childhood. I also want to rock around the cherry blossoms with Ashley. One of the difficulties I face living in this mansion is food. I'm hardly a picky eater, but I'm also so sick of living off of canned food I would kill for a fresh peach. When I feel up to it, I hunt around the island for edible plants, but I haven't found anything good. Enough to eat enough to eat more than once, so I'm a slave to my can opener. So far the top contenders in this canned food this canned good playoffs are corned beef, spicy chili, and clam chowder. 
When I think about my relationship or lack thereof with Ashley, I am often reminded of my relationship with my late father. My father and mother both died in a plane crash when I was 18. After that, Jessica and I had, fend had to fend for ourselves. Dad was an extremely busy trade merchant, and he never spared much time for his family. Back then, I couldn't understand him, but now I feel like he is the only person who would understand me. In work as in life, these are the principles I try to live by. Always keep up with a new theory. Never forget to prepare the counter-argument and follow-up. There's a solution for anything as long as you think creatively. Giving up is not an option. When faced with difficulties, I try to remember the day I came up with these four principles with Sayako. Richard's Journal. A group of researchers working on memory and inheritance are planning to publish the results of their DNA memory regenerator soon. Sayako did some work on memory inheritance. I think she could be interesting in this DNA memory generator if she were still alive and working in the field. Maybe she thought about leaving her own memories for Ashley and me. Alright, so that looks like it's that, it. So I am officially done with the game. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the effort I went through to make these extra episodes and you enjoyed this game. And even though you just watched me play it all, I still recommend people getting it and because it's a really good game. And even though I think I just read on the wiki for this game that um, the developers or publishers, whatever, aren't a thing anymore which is unfortunate but they did make another awesome game called hotel dusk room 215 which i might do i haven't finished that one versus i've finished this one and there is a sequel to that but once again it wasn't released in the u.s i'm gonna find a way so that i can get these and make them work the sequels for trace memory and hotel dusk but they're both really good games that I still recommend that people try for themselves. I mean, even though you guys know the story of it by now, um, it's still fun to enjoy and do the puzzles on your own. Like, the closing the DS and stomping down, and, um, what's the other one? Just blowing on, blowing on things can be kind of annoying. Do it yourself. And what was the other cool puzzle? Oh, the reflection one. Try the reflection one. But, uh, yeah, you guys should definitely support this game and make it a cult classic, because that's what it really deserves to be, honestly. So, until next time, guys, with whatever I decide to record, because I still haven't really decided, I will see, see you then. Bye-bye!